Good day viewers. So, ayun. I am Kevin and uh, I'm here today to talk about regarding sa frequently asked question o yung madalas na lumalabas or madalas na naitatanong. Okay? So, uh, without further ado, let's start. So, this question is taken from analytics geometry. So, it says that find the equation of a line that passes through the point 2, 3, and 4, 5. Okay. In this, uh, uh, in this uh, tutorial, uh, ipapakita natin yung iba't ibang alternative way of solving or alternative way of solution na pwede natin magamit uh, to attack this kind of question. So, una, una sa solution natin, ang itinatawag natin na conventional approach. Conventional approach, ito yung uh, conventional, traditional, uh, by the book, kung tawagin. Kasi, nakabase tayo sa solution, sa formula na naituro sa atin. To solve this, may certain parameters tayo or requirements. Una sa listahan natin is yung slope. Okay? Slope. Slope is denoted as M. Okay? Slope is denoted as M. And M is equals to change of Y all over change of X. And what is those things? Okay? So, change of y is y sub 2 minus y sub 1. Same goes sa change of x. And that is x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Okay? Another requirement natin is uh, by getting its equation through Point slope form. Slope. Slope form. Okay? Point. Point slope form. So, it is given by y minus y sub 1 is equals to n times x minus x sub 1. Okay? Ito yung dalawang requirement natin. Dalawang formula para ma-solve yung equation ng line. So, to begin, x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. So, it depends, no? Pwede nyo pagbalik ta rin yan. Depende kung saan kayo mag-umpisa. Okay? So, y sub 2, that is 5. y sub 1, that is 3 x sub 2, that is 4. x sub 1, that is 2. And 5 minus 3 is 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. Or, that is 1. So, ang slope natin is 1. Now, proceeding para makabuo tayo na equation, we have y minus, pumili na lang kayo kung anong point ang gagamitin nyo. So, for me, I go to point 1. That is y minus 3. Yung m natin, yung slope natin ay 1 times x minus 2. Okay? So, isolate. We have y minus 3 is equals to x minus 2. Combine like terms, we have y equals to x minus 2 plus 3 or we have y is equals to x plus 1 and that is letter A diba? so ito yung conventional method na tinatawag may formula may solution ka solution number 1 yun Solution number 2 is gagamit tayo ng technology. Involve natin yung technology. 
Kasi, hindi naman bawal gumamit sa calculator sa exam. Lalo, lalo na kung ikaw ay mathematics major or secondary education, specialization in mathematics. Allowed ang calculator. So, kung allowed ang calculator, calculator will help you to minimize your time. Okay? So, para gamitin ng calcu, ganito siya. Mode 5. Ulit. Para sa calcu, we have mode 5, equation. Okay, mode 5 is equation. Pagdating sa equation, may iba't ibang equation tayo. We have linear, quadratic, uh, uh, linear, quadratic, at meron pang ibang equation. So, in this case, magamit tayo ng linear. Okay? Bakit linear? Kasi, ang concept ng line is linear. Kaya nga, line eh. Line. Linear, line, linear, magkatunog, di ba? So, ayun. At, at ang general, form, uh, general equation natin ay ax plus by plus or minus c is equals to zero. Ang standard natin ay ax plus by equals c. Okay? Tapos, ang slope natin, slope form ay by is equals to ax plus c or mas kilala sa y is equals to mx plus b. Okay? Yan yun, pare-parehas lang yan. Now, using calculator, we have mode 5, 1. Ang ilalagay natin sa mode 5, 1, is yung equi a uh, given point nila. That is 2. That is 3. And then yung constant natin, since that is line or linear, line is parang 1. Diba? 1. So, 1 ang ilalagay natin dito. Same goes pagdating sa point B. We have 4, 5, and 1. Okay? So now, pag equal natin, we have x is equals to negative 1, and y is 1. So, x is equals to negative 1, and y is equals to 1. Okay? So, we have negative x, plus y is equals to 1, or y is equals to x plus 1. Parehas lang sila. Using calculator. Okay? Ganun siya. Mode 5, 1. Tapos, uh, x1, y1, then 1 x2, y2, and then 1. Tapos ac, tapos xy lalabas, and then tignan nyo na lang sa choices. Okay? Ganun siya. Now, for solution number 3, for solution number 3, ang gagamitin natin dito ay stock knowledge natin from elementary. Okay? from elementary. What I mean is basic math from elementary. Diba? So, nagsusolve tayo ng mathematics dati kung elementary tayo pag ganito. 2 plus 3 is 5. Meron din naman 2 times 3 is 6. O kaya 5 minus 
2 is 3. Pag ganyan tayo, di ba? Flashcards pa nga yun eh. Kung natatandaan nyo, flashcards. Okay? So, flashcards. Ayun, stack knowledge ang gagamitin natin. Paano? Pagdating sa mga ganito, ang uunahin lagi natin is yung point B. Okay? Point B. So, we have 4, 5, 2, 3. And then, minus nyo lang. 4 minus 2 is 2. 5 minus 3 is 2. Nalagyan nyo lang dito ng y x equal. Okay? So, y x equal. Tapos, cross multiply. 4 times 3 is 12. Okay? 4 times 3 is 12. Okay na. 4 times 3 is 12. Okay? So next is, cross multiply siya. 2, di ba? 4 times 3 is 12. Minus, minus 2 times 5 is 10. Di ba? Minus 2 times 5 is 10. Okay? So, we have 2y is equal to 2x plus 12 minus 10 is 2. Kung mapapansin nyo, uh, factor by 2. So, pwede natin divide both sides by 2. We have y is equal to x plus 1. Okay? So, parehas lang. Nung naunang dalawa y is equal to x plus 1. Okay? Pangatlo yan. Ang pangapat natin ay through trial and error. Trial and error. Pagdating dito, uh, hindi ko na masyadong i-discuss. Basta ang gagawin nila dito is alin man sa dalawang given, i-direct substitution natin dito sa mga choices. Okay? Kung saan may mag-satisfy, and then, that is the possible answer. Let's say letter A. Y is equals to X plus 1. At, kunwari, pinili natin itong B. Point B. 4, 5. We have 5 is equals to 4 plus 1. 5 is equals to 5. Check. Diba? Possible answer. If we try letter C, y is equals to x minus 5, that is 5 is equals to 4 minus 5, 5 is equals to negative 1, and dissatisfied. So, A is possible, uh, malalaki na si B, si C, hindi nagsatisfy, also si D, malaki masyado si D, hindi nagsatisfy. So, therefore, through trial and error, we got letter A. Diba? So, ayun. To summarize, using conventional, using technology, yung calculator natin, using yung stack knowledge natin, uh, elementary, and then yung trial and error, lahat sila iisa ang sagot. So, therefore, uh, lahat ng way of solving natin is true. Diba? True. Kasi, iisa ang sagot nila. So, ayun. Uh, to appreciate more, subukan natin dito sa pangalawang tanong. Same lang. Subukan nyo lang. Okay? Kahit anong uh, solution. Uh, let's say, randomly, we try... Uh, 
elementary stock knowledge. So, 2, 2, 0, 5, and then minus, di ba? 2 minus 0 is 2. Why? This equals 2. 2 minus 5 is negative 3x. And then by cross multiply, we have 2 times 5 is 10. And minus 0 minus 2, uh, 0 times 2 is 0. We have 2y equals negative 3x plus 10. That is letter A. Diba? So, ayun. Try nyo na lang yung uh, method 1, yung conventional, calculator technique natin, also yung trial and error. I-try nyo na lang. Pag na-try nyo yan, pwede nyo i-practice sa susunod na slide. This is now your turn. Okay? Given the equation, ah, uh, Find the equation of a line. That should be find the equation of a line of a line that passing that passing through the given points. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, ayun. Itry nyo para ma-appreciate nyo and then you can message me for your answer or you can comment below. Okay? So, ayun na. I hope may natutunan kayo for today's tutorial. Okay? So, ayun. Uh, para uh, may another topic tayo, pwede kayo mag-suggest below or mag-message sa akin kung ano yung pwede natin ma-discuss. Okay? So, ayun. See you sa susunod na tutorial.